going on, everyone? I'm Gil Flo. I'm Lawrence Bleach. And we are the Video Game Archivist reviewing All-Star Tennis 99. Number, Which... Game number 24 out of 296. And I just want to say, that intro music, you might have thought this was a porn game, but it is not. Also, I would like to rename this game, in my opinion, to All-Star Out 99. Out. <laughs> uh, so that's probably one of the best best segments of this game is when you uh, knock the ball out. Yeah, that and the fact is that the audience themselves... Like literally, will sometimes react to you, or sometimes do things independently, and even like the like the actual announcer or commentator will like please settle down. Yeah, he has to keep them under control. It's a little ridiculous. Um, okay, so this is a mixed sex sport. There is no men's or women's. It's men and women. You can play either or. Equality. Um, they're all gonna laugh at you. I'm gonna warn you. When you play this game bad, yeah, they will laugh. Yes. And then the commentator will get mad and tell them to calm down, and then they'll laugh some more. And then you'll hit the ball. Out. Yep. Um, the game feels like a good sim, yeah. honestly. I, well, to me, yeah, it gives that arcade sim mix. So you do kind of have to pay attention to your own controller when it's like, oh, you know, you might be used to, let's say, Mario Tennis, which we'll eventually get to. But because you're pointing the stick the one way, you're not going as far as you actually should because, yeah, you do actually have to pay attention how you control. Yep. Um, as you see on the screen right now, uh, the bombs there. There's the out! Yep. Um, so the bombs make it interesting more in regular tennis because you have to be strategic about how you move and how you die. Because as soon as you hit the, uh, the bomb, you give your opponent a point. Yeah. Um, one of the comments I made during the game was, Zoe, what are you doing? Because when she, like, dove for the ball... Her body would break up in half and make a U shape in the air. I know. Weird. Limp dives are funny as hell. Oh, that's too funny. Um, but it's if you're looking for a decent tennis game, I would say this one's good. Yeah. Um, it's not the best one on the Nintendo 64, in my opinion. But the fact is, it's still a pretty decent one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we weren't expecting it for a generic Ubisoft uh, sports yeah. game. So, you got anything else before we go to the ratings? Oh, but what would be the price point on this? I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a ten dollar game because I bought this at. The oh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a sports game, and so yeah, usually they're pretty low. But I was like just kind of curious about it. All Star Tennis, ninety nine is twenty bucks. I'm sorry, it's twenty dollars. Uh, that's still pretty decent for this game, I would yep. say. Well, all right, on to the rating. So, um, a fifty is nothing good or bad, all the way up to a hundred being perfect, and one being an out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Superman sixty four. <laughs> Which, some foreshadowing there, because we're not going to review that one yet. So, let's be honest, though. It does as a... Oh! <laughs> All right, so, nostalgia rating. Uh, we both put it right at 69. Nice. Um, which is an okay game, because it's definitely on the higher of... The oh, end. the okay, yeah. yeah, definitely. It's, like, it's definitely enjoyable enough, especially multiplayer. Even playing single player, like, you can tell the computer has skill, but it doesn't feel like, oh, all, all of a sudden there were difficulty ramps. No, it just feels like... No, it's fair. Yeah, like, we only put an hour into this game. I didn't expect to beat the computer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even then, it's like, still, it's like, it does feel fair. And, yeah. Yep, pretty much, pretty much. All right, um, so now, I gave it a 65, you gave it a 67. Okay. Obviously, it's aged a little bit um, with yeah. how you have to control it. Yeah, I think, awkward. yeah, like I said, I think it's a little on the simmy side. So, quiet. sometimes if you, oh, there's the quiet. <laughs> but, uh, no, if you actually do, uh... <laughs> Uh, you know, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I'm trying to go for this ball, but you hit, like, the wrong side of your stick when you're, like, right near the ball. You might die the wrong way. Yep, yep. Especially yep. if you slam your, smash your stick on the side. Then you'll just die when you not don't want to. So that brings it to a 6, 7 out of 100. Um, I would say if you're looking for a decent tennis game and you don't want to buy Mario Tennis, then this game's probably pretty good. Oh, yeah, enough. this one's a decent one to pick yeah. up. Yeah, um, it's definitely not on the bad side, which surprised us for a little bit, but that's all I really have. Well, then again, we kind of, when it came to our sports sections, uh, yeah, we started off Mia Ham. Oh, God. That's a bad game. That's yeah. a bad game. This one was not. This one was not. Um, so, so this game does not get that. Oh! Yes. It gets uh, up pretty good. So... Well, technically, okay. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I like the video. And if you want, go ahead and leave us a comment. We'll catch you next time.